good evening, Stephanie and Francisco. Good evening. Hello, Alexander McDiel. Thank you for being on time. That's Enrique Manuel. How was your day? How was your Monday? Did you have a good day? Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How was your Monday? It was okay, teacher. Great. I'm doing well. Yes. Uh, what about yourself? It was very good. Um, I've been at home. I'm feeling better. My eye is not ready anymore. <laughs> so, yes. And I rest a lot on during the weekend. What about you? Um, I had a day off. Excellent. So, yes. did you do anything interesting or just stay at home? Uh, just stay at home. Good. Yes, rest rest at home. Rest at home. That's the yeah. best. Yeah, that our body needs to rest. <laughs> That's the most <laughs> work. Yes, sometimes it's good to go out, but sometimes it's better to rest. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for being on time. We are eight in the section. Eight students we need. Then we're going to start. Uh, for today, we're going to start with section number four. Uh, the name of the section is loyalty. We're going to be describing different stages of uh, product brand awareness, um, discriminate effective from ineffective ways to increase brand awareness, describe our journey in the loyalty pyramid from different from indifferent to committed customer of a renowned local product or services. And um, the vocabulary is stages of brand awareness, like a number, brand recognition, brand recall, top of the mind, et cetera, strategies to raise brand awareness, educate customers, wow experiences, sponsor, sponsorship, billboards, etc. The brand loyalty, pyramid, example, switchers, satisfies buyer, habitual buyer, brand as a friend, and committed buyer. Uh, in grammar, we are going to be uh, studying the expressions to clarify a point. For example, in other words, that is to say, this means that, or more exactly, simply put, namely, specifically, double negatives. Uh, the double negatives is like anyone, no one, etc. cetera. Uh, the video, well, we don't play videos because we might get into, um, we might run into problems with our videos in YouTube, so we avoid that part, um, but we, we do different things in order to compensate the video. Uh, in the article, we have the eight ways to gain more attention from your business. The six keys to creating wow customer service experience. And Mac Cosmetics and Amazon Prime loyalty programs. And um, we will be designing an infography about the benefits of investing and increasing brand awareness. To start with the section, we have uh, this conversation on page 33. It's a conversation between Celia and Lucas. Do I have volunteers to role play this conversation? You can raise your hand. Emerson and Manuel. And then we go with Magdiel. Let's start with Emerson and Manuel. 
Mm, okay, uh, I start. Uh, I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious, but when I visited their fan page, I saw they only had 300 likes. I wonder why it isn't more <clears throat> popular. It's probably an un unknown brand. Simply put, the owners of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of these brands and their images and names. In other words, this cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to make people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you so much. Uh, let's listen to Magdiel. Is there anybody else to role play with Magdiel? A volunteer? Mario, thank you. I'm going to start. Okay. I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious, but when I visited their fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it isn't more popular. Mario? It's probably, it's probably a uh, no, no brand. Simply put, the owner of the brand aren't trying too hard to create to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca Cola and Pepsi. But I have never seen an app for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of these brands and their images and names in other words. In other words, this cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to make people recognize in the get higher sales and become more competitive. Not competitive. Okay, great. Thank you so much for role playing. Let's see. Well, this is a very friendly vocabulary, so I guess that there is no uh, questions about vocabulary, but if you do have, let me know. Now, why is cinnamon soda not so popular? What do you think? What is, according to the conversation? On the unknown brand. It's an unknown brand. Unknown brand. Okay, thank you so much. That is, yes, thank you for your answer. That's correct. It's, it's not very well known. It's unpopular. What is an important step to consider when launching a new product? Right, brand awarenesses. Is to create brand awarenesses. Thank you so much. Excellent. What is Lucas' recommendation for the cinnamon soda to get more sales? He uh, suggests uh, to really investing in marketing and advertising in order to more people recognize the, the brand. That's correct. Thank you so much, Emerson and Mario, for your responses. They are correct. Um, 
So yes, it is very important uh, to make or to create brand awareness uh, for every single product, right, in the market. So we're going to be continue talking about uh, marketing strategies and um, making brand awarenesses. And also we're going to increase our vocabulary with expressions that are going to help us to clarify our opinion or point of view. Like for example, this one, simply put, in other words, and other kind of phrases uh, that can help us to connect our ideas in a conversation, in a paragraph, etc. So to start with that, I have this, this is our starting point and we're going to be talking about uh, internet trends, and then we're going to have more vocabulary about the marketing in the web, and also how to create brand, uh, how do they create brand awarenesses through the internet. So we're going to look at this, the internet trends, and you're going to choose the ones that affect you. A volunteer to read, let's see, I'll need two volunteers first to read about now. And then in the future, who wants to read the part where it says now? A volunteer? Volunteer to read? Me, teacher. Thank you so much. Okay, internet trends now. Music fans have been given access to nearly unlimited music libraries in the cloud. Increasingly, information about internet users is being, is being collected for marketing purposes. Um, many traditional textbooks have been replaced by online versions. With the development of new online tools, more employees are being allowed to work remotely for part of their work week. Thank you so much, Mark Diel. In the future, I saw we, you were raising hand. In the future? Yes. Okay. Most store purchases will be made by using a mobile device, device like to an only account. Cash or credit card will rarely be used. More and more doctors examination are likely going to be done over the internet. More candidates, it's okay, teacher? Candidates. Candidates, more candidates for Employment will be identified, interviewing, and hire online. Hired online. Hire online, okay. The internet is going to be subjective. Subjective? Subjective. Uh -huh. subjective. To a greater number of hackers attacked due to the increasing amount of personal information stored online. Yes, increasing amount of personal information stored online. That's quite dangerous and worrying. Thank you so much for reading. Um, Thank you. Do you have any question about vocabulary or pronunciation? No, teacher. Okay, which one of these affects you? Uh, for me, I think uh, the second one from the future more doctor's examinations are likely going to be done over the internet. I think it's not the same thing, uh, examination, a virtual examination than a physical examination from a doctor. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have seen that some, uh, some doctors are implementing, well, both. You can go on site or you can have them 
the online so and the prices i guess it's it is cheaper if it's online but i think it's not the same as you said i, I agree with you thank you so much for your opinion anybody else Yeah, I'm affected by plenty of those. For example, many traditional textbooks have been replaced by online versions. I'd rather a physical book. I, I don't like online versions because I, I think I'm old school. So that's why. So I, I, I don't like them. I just don't. I, it's, it's difficult to me to handle an, an online book. There will be um, zoom in and then like, I, I just don't like them. I'm not a techie person. Uh, let's see, another one is, uh, hmm. yes, the second in what it says now, increasingly information about internet users is being collected for marketing purposes. Uh, th that is something that annoys me when I um, I check my uh, inbox. I, I open my email and check my inbox. And I have plenty of um, emails from different um, uh, websites, uh, online stores, businesses, uh, offering courses and plenty of things that I have not requested or bought from them before, but this is because um, they collect information from us for marketing purposes. I think they shouldn't do that. That's because of privacy, right? And anybody else? Okay, let's do the part B. What did people do before these friends appeared? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, for example, people used to buy CDs and they put them in, a, in CD players to listen to them. That is in regards to the first one, right? Music fans have been given access to nearly unlimited music libraries in the cloud. People used to buy CDs and they put them in the CD players to listen to them. So yes. Let's let's make a um um at least I think that we can mm, write five sentences similar to the example that we have in part B about the question that we have there. What did people do before these trends appear? Let's write our ideas and then we're going to share.
Finish. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Would you like to share your sentences? Okay. Well, the first one is already answered. Second one, uh, increasingly information about internet users is being collected for marketing purposes. Well, companies uh, used to do service for getting information from people and usually using, using it for marketing purposes. Uh, the third one, many traditional textbooks have been replaced by online versions. Well, we used to go to public libraries at downtown <laughs> or universities. Or buy secondhand books at downtown. <laughs> yeah, buying second books, that, that's right. And the uh, fourth one, uh, with the development of new online tools, more employees are being allowed to work remotely for part of their work week. Well, we, people nowadays still go to work, but used to go physically to work. Yes, it, we never imagined that it would be possible to work from home. Yes. But as many people is working from home. Yeah, that's right. Thing from home. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great job. Thank you for sharing your sentences, Emerson. Do we have any other volunteer? If you just have one, two, that's okay. Share your sentences. Nobody? You're having dinner? Okay, technology buzzwords. Match the terms on the left with the definitions on the right. Let's check your vocabulary. We have the terms number one, download, number two, app, three, post, four, blog, five, Wi Fi, six, the cloud, seven, podcast, eight, spyware, nine, text, and ten, virus. Let's match those terms with the definitions on the right and check your vocabulary. I'll give you time. You can do this exercise in your notebook.
Okay, let's check number one. I'll read number one and the volunteer will continue. Download letter C. Transfer files to your computer or smartphone. Number two, volunteer. Number two, up letter H. A program often used on mobile devices. Excellent, that's correct. Thank you so much. I volunteer to continue with number three. Number three, volunteer. Post. Post, letter F. Put something on the internet for others to see. That's post. Volunteer for blog. Number four, blog. Blog letter J. An online, an online journal or a newsletter, usually for personal opinions. That is correct. Thank you so much for sharing. Number five, Wi-Fi. Letter A. Wireless connection to the internet. Excellent. Thank you so much. That's correct. Number six, the cloud. Uh, letter I, large remote information storage areas on the internet. Excellent. I. Number seven, podcast. Letter B, a radio or TV show downloadable from the internet. Excellent. That's a podcast. Letter B. Great. Thank you so much. Spyware. Spyware. Uh, letter J. Software that secretary reports your online activity. That is correct, RG. Thank you so much. Text number nine. Uh, e send. A uh, short type message from cell phone. From a cell phone. Yes, that's correct. Thank you so much. And the last one. Virus. Letter D. Harmful software that attacks computer or phones yes that's correct thank you so much so you have the answers uh, that you provide are correct letter number one letter c number two letter h number three letter f number four letter j number five letter a number six i 7B, 8G, 9E, 10D. Okay, now, it says, uh, which of these technologies do you have experience with? When do you use them and why? Well, we have to write a short um, paragraph describing and answering the three questions. Which of the technologies do you have experience with? When do you use them and why? We have an example here done. I've been downloading music and videos for years. And if I'm too busy to watch TV, 
I download podcast of interesting show to my smartphone. It's great. Now it's your turn. I will give you time for you to write a short paragraph similar to the one that we have as example in part B, and then you'll be welcome to share with the class.
Okay, volunteers. Uh, me teacher. Thank you, Manuel. Uh, I always love music and movies, science, and had my first computer. But when I had my first computer, I don't know that a, a virus for this reason. I don't know movies from a specific page. I have never chat with my friends by text. I have always used application, for example, Messenger or WhatsApp. Oh, that, that. okay, excellent. Thank you so much for sharing. That's very common, right? The viruses. So it's quite easy to get our devices uh, infected by viruses. Thank you so yes. much for sharing. Anybody else? Me teacher. Thank you, Magdia. I have started Wi-Fi in my home since last year in order to take the online English class. And I have downloaded the files that teacher sends us. Okay, so it's been really useful for you. So that's nice. Yes. <laughs> and also you can watch, uh, you can relax and watch maybe some videos, tutorials, etc. in the internet. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yes. The, the problem is that we need a smart TV to do so. <laughs> Well, but nowadays they are not really expensive. But yes, it's very useful to have what Wi-Fi at home. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for sharing. Anybody else? Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you so much, Emerson. Well, uh, before social media became a trend, I had a blog about computer science uh, where I used to post uh, information about new technologies of that time and sometimes personal ideas or thoughts. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you, you were like a... Like a um... It's similar to a YouTuber, but you used to to um to do post online. Yeah, that's right. I was part from a, a computer community here in Salvador a long time ago. Oh, but that's excellent. You know, I'm not a very techie person, but I would like to be <laughs> more techie. That's really useful nowadays. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing. Any other volunteer? Well, thank you so much for sharing your experiences. So now we're going to check attendance. Let me get the file, just one minute. Okay, I have it here. Let's say present when you hear your name. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Thank you. Alex Enrique Lemos. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Thank you. Elizabeth Stephanie Vázquez. Emerson Alexander López. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Gertrudis Aymara Vaquerano.
¿Qué dice el panesa Menjiba? Hi, teacher. It's Elizabeth present. I couldn't activate my microphone. Sorry. Okay, not a problem. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Jose Enrique Pineda. Present. Thank you. Yulisa Yamilet Vialta. Carla Ivania Anaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. Present Miss. Thank you. Matiel Esau Morales. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Alexander Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra Martínez. Víctor Noé Bonilla. Present, teacher. Vidal Byron Ruiz. Present, teacher. Thank you. William Alexander Rosales. Present, teacher. Thank you. Okay, let us continue sharing. Give me one moment. Okay, now for our next exercise, we have to write about a product or service review. Let's write the instruction. Look at the information um, about a product review, but before that, we have a writing tip here. Writing and posting a product or service review helps other consumers make informed decisions. Most products and service review contain similar features. Uh, and here we have the features. Look at the information about the product review and then read the review below and select the things the reviewer does. Find examples in the review with a partner. Number one, names the product and explains its use. Number two, explains where it can be purchased. Number three, mention positive features. Number four, suggests how it could be improved. Number five, states who would find it useful and why. And number six, gives the exact price. So we're going to read and check the things that the reviewer does. It says, organize me. I'll give it time for you to read and then check or mention or write on your notebook the things that the review does, the ones that we have here. We have 16.
finish reading. Okay, done, teacher. Yeah, you finish. Okay, so what of the things that are mentioned in the from number one to six does the review do? Well, the name of the product it's a uh, organized me XPS, and this app uh, this app is work to helps to people to organize all the tasks and appointments in just in one place. Uh-huh. So you check number one. Mm -hmm. And what else? Well, I started reading, but I didn't find where it can be purchased this app. So it doesn't it doesn't mention where it can be purchased. Mm -hmm. No, no, it doesn't mention. You didn't check it. And that's great. Uh huh. What about number three? Well, positive features. Well, the positive features that the app can be used with only simple steps. In order to having a lot of application, this app has all in just one, one application. In order to to do the, these things more easier. Okay, only, only great. Mm -hmm. um, that is correct, great. Mm -hmm. For suggest how could we improve, well, maybe it not says how can be improved. They only, we only had the promises from the programmers to release new features or free updates. Mm -hmm. That's correct. And well, the states who will find useful and why? And practically it's for every, every people, for students, for well, in our school work and anybody else to Need to have need to have or the or ideas or the appointments or tasks in just one place. And 
and uh, number six, it doesn't give the exact price. Okay, so you have three check, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is correct. So number one, three, and five, five. right? Yes, yes, that's correct. Thank you so much for sharing. So la, let's move to the next part. Thank you so much, Emerson. Okay, now use one of these topics or your own idea to write a product or service review. We have the example of a, a product review, which is this app, Organize Me. We have uh, the, the all reading here complete. And these are the, the, the features. Remember, these are the features that most of the reviews include from number one to six. Those are the features. Uh, three of them are included here in this uh, review. But now it's our turn to do a similar thing is in one of these topics, or you can also um, use your own ideas. It's not necessary to stick to those. Um, and we have a technology you purchase. So you can make a review about something, um, a device or a technology that you purchase, a game or app you tried, a restaurant you ate at or a service you used for example dry cleaner hair salon or mechanic uh, to make it simpler i think that we will make it uh, individual because yes yeah, sometimes we create the breakout rooms but most people is just as listeners so it gets complicated so we're going to do it individually uh, is there any question about the instructions of this activity? Or is everything clear? It can be uh, um, to create a new product. I mean, a product that doesn't exist. Uh, yes, a product that does not exist. And yes, you can write a pro the, the review of, the, of that a uh, potential new product, yes. Yeah. Okay.
Have you finished? Yes, it. What did you write about? Can you share? Uh, sure. Okay. Um, it's, well, I just uh, Okay, I will talk about well a new product. I was thinking about uh, a school. Well, it's a product that already exists, school backpack. But okay. uh, uh, with the solar charger. Okay. So maybe uh, this is school backpack with the an integrated solar charger will be equipped with uh, mini solar panels on the on the outside exterior in order to charging electronic devices like uh, mobile phones, tablets, or laptops when the student or the worker is uh, going to, to the job or to the to the school and well maybe it, it could have a, a power bank internal in order to save all the energy catch it from the from the sun and when in he's in the inside use that already stored energy didn't you talk in a price for it well, the price could be around fifty or eighty dollars. Ah, sounds reasonable. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. I didn't know that the uh, that kind of backpack already exists. That's so interesting. I but... have. I, I... I think, I don't know if I already saw it, but I don't know, could be wrong, but I think that's that would be a good idea. Okay. Yeah, sure, definitely. Thank you for sharing. Any other volunteer? What about the rest of you? What did you write? Did you write about technology, games, app, restaurant, any kind of service? Nobody else? Good. Let's continue. Forms of communication. This is a communication Related to the topic we're studying about technology, some kind of um, related to technology. So we have here um, forms of communication, and this is the vocabulary that we have. Banner ads, billboards, bumper stickers, bus wraps, calls, flyers, infomercials, pop-up ads, spam, telemarketing, text messages and voicemail. Where do you find these forms of communication? Put them in the correct columns and then add another expression to each category. What are the categories? We have on television, on the internet, on the phone, on the streets or highways. You're going to classify them into each of the categories that you have in the gray chart. And you can also add one more. 
I'll give it time for this. You will probably have to do some research about the vocabulary and learn some new words. You can work on that on your notebook. We'll check later.
Ready? Our teacher. Now finish. Um, I think so. Okay. Um, on TV, infomercials, <clears throat> telemarketing. Mm -hmm. And on the internet, spawn, pop-up app, uh, on the phone, on the phone, text messages, voicemail, on the street or highways, the billboards, bumpers, Stickers, those wraps, flyers, uh, banners, ads. Mm -hmm. And I, I was thinking about um, print uh, t-shirt could be. Okay. Uh, yes, print t-shirts. Mm-hmm. Very Only good. Okay, I think that most of your answers, most of them, nearly all were correct. Let us check. On television, we have crawls. Uh, what does it mean? What does it mean crawls? Crawls are like um. Let's see. So these are like um. Uh, uh, when you are watching TV, maybe a soccer match, have you seen uh, like little ads at the bottom of the of the screen? Yeah. Uh huh. Those are crawls. Um. That is is moving uh, across the, the. Yes. The yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, I get it. Yes, or sometimes when you're watching series or movies on the uh, on your TV, and yes, sometimes they appear like, like those little ads at the bottom, and sometimes they cover the content, so they are kind of uh, annoying, yes, and unusual. Maybe you're not interested on the things that they are advertising, so but yes, those are cr called crawls. And crawls at uh, 
are also known as, um, también son conocidos como motores de búsqueda. Entonces, ya, yeah, so, puede que, um, está bien si lo pusieran también on the internet, but on TV. Aquí lo tenemos como on television, crawls, information. And on the internet, banner ads, y los banner ads en internet son similares. Eh, aquí les puse un, una imagen de un banner ad que es similares a los crawls on TV. Que es este que está aquí en el fondo. Es cuando uno está na, eh, en el, navegando algo. Es como estos pequeños como, como anuncios que uno les puede dar para cerrar aquí en la crucita. Pero después le sale otra cosa que porque ella no quiere ver el ad y ahí se queda como en blanco, cubriendo contenido de lo que queremos ver. Entonces, esos son los banner ads de internet. Por eso les puse esa imagen aquí. En yes. So that is for you. Son banner, también son los banner que pueden ver en la calle, ¿verdad? Pero también se utilizan en lo que es el en lo que es el internet, son, esos son los que se llaman banner ads. Um, a ver, los pop-up ads, el pop-up quiere decir que aparece de repente en la pantalla, aparecen de repente. A diferencia de los banner ads, eh, hay este, páginas web que el banner ad siempre está ahí y no desaparece. Aunque usted le dé la NX, eh, Sí se cierra el anuncio, pero siempre queda en blanco ahí que ya no le van a mostrar ese contenido. Entonces, el pop-up ad, ese sí aparece de repente. Y una vez usted le da a cerrar o que no le interesa, se desaparece. Esos son los pop-up ads. Y luego, pues, también teníamos spam. Eh, on the phone, telemarketing, text messages, voicemail. Um, then on the street or highway, so billboards, bumper stickers, bus wraps, and flyers. And some possible additional expressions, commercials, so like television for social networking, email, internet phone, the road sign, uh, street or highways. So pretty good. So, and the idea of t shirts on the street was. Amazing. That's another way of advertising. So thank you so much for providing us with your answers, Miguel. As you see, most of them were placed in the correct uh, category. And some of them, yes, they, they can be used uh, on the street or they, they are like interchangeable. Algunas son como intercambiables, así como lo de los banner ads. Eh, que bueno pues en internet ya les explicaba cuáles son los banner ads y también pues podemos ver banners en las calles ¿sí? so yes puede ser eh, um, el tema technology so let's see I uh, think that we still have well we have five minutes so I think that we can complete the exercise B so that we don't leave that pending and start tomorrow from the next slide after this one. Paywork, which of the above are most useful ways of communication or information and the least useful? Do you find any of them annoying? Well, yes. <laughs> Those crowds at the bottom of the TV screens aren't useful. It is impossible to read them and pay attention to a show at the same time. You think they are annoying? Well, that can be a sample of, of an unusual, uh, unuseful way of communication. And um, what do you think? You can uh, talk about the most useful for you or the least useful. At least one sentence, we have five minutes.
Okay, volunteer, what's your opinion? Me, teacher. Okay. Well, the text messages are well, not, not useful, but the telemarket could be annoying sometimes. It, most annoying when you are waiting, when someone or be myself, I'm waiting for an important call. Absolutely, I agree with you. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you so much for your opinion. Anybody else? Nobody else? Well, it's time to stop. So we're going to wrap up this thing here. And well, thank you so much for your attendance and participation. See you tomorrow. Sleep well. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Take care. Sleep well, teacher. Thank you. You, you do tomorrow. the same. See you tomorrow.